Not my jam, understanding casual English expressions. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the colorful world of English idioms and phrases. Idioms are a crucial part of learning any language, offering a glimpse into the culture and adding flair to the language. We'll explore the meaning and use of the phrase, not my jam. So, let's get the ball rolling. The phrase, not my jam, is a casual, informal way to say that something is not to your liking or not something you're interested in. The word, jam, in this context doesn't refer to the fruit spread we put on toast, but rather to something one enjoys or is passionate about, which can be traced back to musical preferences. So when you say something is, not your jam, you're saying it doesn't match your taste or preference. Interestingly, jam has musical roots, often associated with jazz musicians in the early 20th century who would jam together, improvising music that they enjoyed. Over time, the term has evolved to describe anything that someone enjoys or is enthusiastic about, extending beyond music. Saying, not my jam, might be a modern twist, using this musical term to denote personal preference in a broad range of areas. Using, not my jam, is pretty straightforward. It's best used in informal situations like conversations with friends, social media posts, or in casual dialogue. Here's how you can incorporate it. I tried watching that new sci-fi series, but it's just not my jam. Do you like camping? Not really, it's not my jam. I can see why people like jazz, but it's not my jam. Notice that it's a polite and non-offensive way to express your disinterest, without demeaning someone else's preferences. There are several variations to express the same sentiment. Some people might say, not my thing, or not my cup of tea. Each version is equally informal and conveys a similar message of personal preference. And that's a wrap on, not my jam. Remember, idioms like this one are the jam of language learning, adding flavor and personality to your conversations. We hope you found this explanation helpful and that you're more confident in using, not my jam, in your daily English. Keep practicing. And don't forget to enjoy the journey of language learning. After all, we hope it's your jam. See you in the next video.